start the morning with her coughing when she went outside, but she pretty much went all night without coughing at all. So, I'm going to say that her, her meds, they give her work. Um, uh, what I'll just figure that chicken bone that she uh, got here a while back scratched her throat up and has well, between that and the weather has ended up being an issue since and hey I didn't watch it so I walked her out in it because it's nasty out here this morning um give her some stuff it's a pill gonna dissolve and then it's actually since rainy loves yogurt so much dissolving it in a little bit of water and then mix it in with the yogurt and it's supposed to coat her throat to make it feel better and help it heal supposed to have it every six hours well she got it when I got home from the vet last night could have had it when we went to bed but Becky oh if she's not coughing don't worry about it should have had it this morning I don't even know where they put the pills, so I should get them in here a little bit. And hey, we're above freezing this morning. We have like 42 degrees for a high yesterday, I think. And uh, 37 was our low. We just keep it nice and tight right in there. And 99% humidity, so we'll keep it wet and cold. Cold and wet, whichever way you want to say it. Oh, yeah. I got a little heater. I got to go to the shop and work on one out of the trailer. It's not the ones we're using right now. The one we used, could have used. Actually, I think it's the second one. They make it about a year till the bearings go out. And I guess that's what you get for like a $29 heater. They do a really great job. The thermostat on them is actually pretty damn accurate you know i don't know what temperature it says but you just set it and it'll stay pretty comfortable without fluctuating but say the bearings don't hold up in them and probably cost more for bearings than it does for the heater so that's what i'm going to go dink with this morning well here's that little heater actually pretty good one thing I like about this is it's made to either set down, lay flat like it is, or stand up. And it's got a handle. Yeah. Let's see where the screws hold the handle on. And I got a little deal there by our TV where it'll hang right there. It does a really good job. You know, just a little old run of the mill set of coils. And. A little end play on that, which they need it, but spinning by hand, everything seems good. And yeah, nothing's touching anything it shouldn't. Well, got a few years experience with this. I got the switch turned on, so I'm not gonna mess with it. That funky sound, yeah, it's because the bearings are worn. Might be able to lubricate them and make it through the winter on them maybe um i tried changing positions on it and it doesn't go away so i'm gonna see if i can get some get something in there i'm not sure what to use yet a little silicone a little fluid film maybe a little three in one or something just to get into the bearing and i they wouldn't make that shit so cheap you know an, another 25 cents in manufacturing these things would probably last for 10 years but you know then they're going to lose their 30 dollars by not having to sell another one <laughs> gotta love it and now that she's in here and calmed down she's done coughing she hasn't coughed since earlier and i haven't exactly been flying through this took my time couple phone calls whatever watching some videos you know my morning catch up 
What a difference a little bit of lubrication makes. Get right to the back bearing, just take two screws out and the motor comes off the housing. For all one a little more difficult, but I was able to drip a couple drops down onto the shaft. There it is. See how long it lasts. Looky there, nice and quiet. And it's warm. My fingers are freezing because it's not warm in here, but it's warm right here. Well, so we'll see how long the oil job lasts. I was seriously thinking about maybe drilling a hole right there because it's straight into the bearing, although the bearing is in there about half, three quarters of an inch. But a little hole there, just take it off and lay it down because it hangs just like this. That's the nice thing about it. It's out of the way and safe, all that good stuff. But uh, wouldn't take much to take it off and lay it like this and put a drop of oil in there once in a while. So I might still do that. We'll see. But hey, there's another heater working. Even though that one's not. And this one's for the trailer. Go figure. Ask Becky what we've been doing this afternoon. We have been watching uh, Oregon State Beavers win against the Oregon Ducks. We are forever diehard Beavers fans, and uh, we rarely win a football game over them, and we kicked our ass in a good game today. So, final score. Beavers, Ducks. 38. Ducks, 34. There you go, folks. That's what we've done this afternoon. I'd show you, but you know, they'd probably get me on some copyright infringement or something, but no, the reason we're, we're Beavers fans is... Uh, that's the agricultural college. Um, and they used to really kick some butt. Our niece graduated from there. The yep. kids have taken classes there. I've taken classes there. Fucking Beavers rock tonight. Now she's calling the dad <laughs> to see if he watched the game. I know he did. So, anyway. Hey, you hey, duck you fans, I'm sorry you lost, but, you know, it is what it is. What a game. I think tomorrow, if the weather what holds, we're going to try to spread some shit. And. <laughs> Becky's going to try to do something really some jerky. Game. I was beginning to wonder that. Uh, I, I'd, I'd show you the TV, game. but like I said, I'd probably get it with a freaking copyright oh crap, and then they'd take the video down, game. and then they'd slap my wrist. And At least it we don't like that. So. Close. Anyway, That's hope you all had a good way. Saturday. Hope you all have, have a good down. Sunday. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. I might sit on the couch all day. I don't know. We'll find out. I figure you'd watch that.